In this video, I'm showing you how to download World Edit and install it in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it helps get this video to more people. So I'm showing you all the steps to getting World Edit and a simple command as well. So without any further ado, let's go and get straight into this tutorial. So to go and get World Edit, which is essentially a mod for Minecraft, we're gonna go and need an add-on for Minecraft which allows us to run World Edit. So that's the first thing we're gonna go and get. And once you're on a search engine, all you want to do is simply go and search for something called Forge. Now Forge is an awesome piece of add-on for Minecraft which allows you to go and get mods for Minecraft. So come to minecraftforge.net, here we go. So currently the latest version is 1.17.1 but this is going to be constantly changing as you watch this tutorial. You can choose any version but just make sure the version you do download you've played on Minecraft before. So say if I go and get 1.17.1, I need to have made sure I've ran 1.17.1 Minecraft before. So I'm gonna go and click on installer. Then we have to go and wait a few seconds just to make sure Forge can earn some money. And then we go and click skip. And it's gonna go and drop the download down here. As you can see, I do get this pop up here. I'm just gonna go and click keep as it is a, a jar file. Now if you don't have this logo here, which is the Java logo, you need to go to java.com and install Java. I've made a full guide on this before but Java just allows you to go and run these types of files. So then all you want to do is go and click on it. Then it's gonna go and bring up the mod system installer. So I'm just gonna go and click install client and then go and click okay. And then as you can see here, it's now getting started. So simply wait for it to do its own thing. It may do some more downloads as you can see, I'm downloading some libraries. Simply wait and I'll catch up with you once it's finished. Then you're gonna go and get this completion pop up here saying successfully install client profile page for version 1.17.1. So I'm gonna go and click okay, and then here we are. Now the next thing you want to do is go back to your browser, and here all you want to do is simply search for world edit, just like so, and then make sure you come to Curse Forge MC Mods. This is a really reliable website, and here we go. Then all you want to do is scroll down onto the right hand side we've got recent files and make sure you get the same version of world edit as you got forge otherwise they're going to be incompatible so as you can see here i'm hovering over here and it says world edit for forge or fabric for minecraft 1.17.1 so these are both the same version then go and click on the download logo and it should go and drop the download in a minute 5.4 megabytes i'll have to go and click keep again and here we go so then all i'm going to do is drag this onto my desktop uh, just like so grab this here and drag it just here. Then I'm gonna close off this and here we are. The next thing you want to do is go and press the Windows key and R. Then you're gonna go and get this pop up here with run. Then all you want to do is type in percentage app data percentage, just like so, hit okay, and it's gonna take you to this file here. Then you want to go to dot Minecraft. So I'm gonna now here, if you don't already have one, you need to go and create a new folder called mods, M-O-D-S. So as you can see, I don't have one here. So I'm gonna right click and go and click new and go and click folder and then just type in M-O-D-S just like so mods and you can then go and leave it there double click on it and then all you want to do is go and drag a world edit into it just like so then the next thing you want to do is go back and open Minecraft Minecraft launcher and here we go then you want to go and make sure you click down here and you need to go and change this to forge as you can see 1.17.1 forge it may be on another version so make sure you've got forge selected and go and click play I'm gonna click play and catch up with you once it loads. Now guys, as you can see, Minecraft has now loaded and here we are. So all you want to do is go into mods and make sure world edit has now appeared. Now this means it's successfully installed and we're showing you exactly how to use it. So let's go and create a new game. So click on single player, we'll create a new world just for this. And while creating the world, make sure you've got allow cheats on and then let go and click create new world. And I'll catch up with you guys once it loads. So guys, as you can see, the game has now loaded. Now to go and get a starter of world edit, all you want to do is press on the text tool, so T on your keyboard, and then go and press slash slash. So press slash slash, and then all you want to do is type in wand, just like so, and then go and press enter. Then as you can see, we get given a wooden axe, which is essentially our wand. Now as you can see, it says left click to select position one and right click to select position two. So let's come onto a flat area to go and test this tool out. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna left click here and then I'm gonna go and right click down here, just like so. So we've now got our two positions selected. Then there is so much you can go and do with World Edit, but I wanna show you a replace command. So I'm then I'm gonna go and press T again and do slash slash replace type in what it currently is so grass block 
and then type in what you would like. So I'm going to go and type in acacia leaves, for example. So I've just typed acacia leaves and then I'm going to press enter. And just like so, it says 51 blocks have been replaced. And then it's changed all of these to acacia leaves, guys. Honestly, it's that easy to use World Edit. And there's a ton more commands as well, which you can find online. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and hit that subscribe button and leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.